Today we're going to learn how to make a lowercase cursive V and a lowercase cursive X. So let's start with lowercase cursive V. That line was not straight. Okay. Starting at the bottom, I'm going to slide up and I'm going to slide back down to make a little hump. And then I'm going to come up like this. And when I get to the top here, I'm going to make a little hook so that I could attach another letter to it if there was another letter to attach. So let's try another cursive V. Starting at the bottom, I'm going to slide up and back down to make a little hump. And I'm going to slide back up. And when I get to the top, I'm going to come down a little bit and make a little hook. Lowercase cursive V. That one is probably a little bit too wide. So sometimes you'll notice that as I form them as well, I notice mistakes. I'm going to make my next one a little bit more narrow. So watch, as, watch um, this one and follow along with me. Starting at the bottom, we're going to slide up and back down. Come up and make a little hook at the top. Lowercase cursive V. Try a few on your own. Try to make them more like this one where you see that this part is more narrow and it's not as wide. And when you're ready, um, we're going to move on to lowercase cursive X. So feel free to pause the video if you need more practice with V. V and X um, are both short letters, so they only go up to the middle line. They do not go to the top line. Lowercase cursive X, we're going to start on the bottom here. We're going to slide up and back down to make a little hump. And this time we're just going to make a little hook. And in this case, we actually pick our marker up because then we have to cross our X over. This is one of the rare cursive letters where you will pick your marker up to form part of it. Starting at the bottom, I'm going to slide up and back down to make a hump and then make a little hook. And then cross your X like this. Okay. Let's try a couple together. Starting at the bottom, slide up and back down. Make a little hook and cross the X. And I'll do one more down here. There you go. Again, feel free to pause the video if you need to practice more on your board before you move on to your handwriting journal. You should be on page 12 of your handwriting journal. V and X. Remember, like always, go back and trace these V's later on your own and um, watch as I form a V on the line. Just like that. Starting at the bottom, come up and back down to make a hump, slide back up, and then when I get to the middle line, I'm going to make a little hook there so I could attach another one or another letter. Okay, I'm going to do one more here. Okay. All right, now let's attach two cursive V's together. Starting at the bottom. When I get to the top and I make a hook, I'm actually going to go right in to my next V and make another hook. That one's a little tricky. I'm going to show you one more time. So those are two lowercase cursive V's together. Now we're going to move on to cursive X. Remember to trace these on your own. Starting at the bottom slide up and back down to make a little hook pick up your pencil and cross it over okay I'm gonna do one more now remember to do this row as well and if you were to attach two X's let's see how it would look as I come back down, 
I just go straight back up into my next X. I now have two X's partially formed and I just have to cross them both. I'm going to try that one more time since it's a little tricky. There you go. And when you are done, make sure you turn it in open on page 12 to the ledge under the whiteboard so I can take a look at it.